Devin, let's take the hypothetical budget of a million dollars. Let's say you have a writer director that says that's what they have. What is your litmus test to make sure that that's exactly what will fall under that amount? What, what are you doing? What are you testing to make sure that? Okay. Um, well, I will, once I read the script, and that says it's a million dollar budget, I'll read the script, and first I'll look at how many locations there are, how many actors there are, if there's any stunts. Um, those are the first three things I'll look at. Um, and then based off that, uh, I will go through, and, and again, also how many pages is the script, because if it's, uh, you know, if it's a 90 page script, are we, are we going to shoot for three weeks, are we going to shoot for four weeks? If it's 120 pages, are we going to shoot for five weeks or six weeks? So that extends the budget, you know. So based on the number of pages, that's that has a, a lot to do with it, also. So after I do all that, then once I first I'll go, okay, we can shoot this in say four weeks, and then I go, this is for the crew that I'm. Then I plug in all the crew that we're, I know is necessary that we're going to need to have for for the type of film that it is. Once I get the crew all done, then I go back and do the cast, and go. That way, because once I have the hard numbers in for all the crew, that's just, we're going to need those guys. There's no negotiation. We need those guys. Then I put in how much for catering and how much for crafty and all that. Um, and then we're left with um, uh, do um, the locations and then I do the, the, do the actors. And once I have all the hard cost in, I go back and go, you got this much to pay actors. And you got this much for locations. What do you want to do? You know, you want to put more money towards actors and less towards locations. But again, you have to allocate enough money to to locations to make sure you can get them. And they, you know, then you got to, there's always like a 10% contingency in, in the budget that we allocate. And then you got to factor in post-production unless the post-production is being done all in-house and you're not going to include that in the budget, production budget. But the, it's interesting because the budgets that we, I normally do, I'm sure it's the same for a lot of line producers, is they're just constant, they're ever-changing. So I'll have a budget and allocate a certain amount of money and I always kind of overcompensate in the beginning because then I know once I start negotiating rates or whatnot, I can start putting in real numbers. Um, the budget always seems to, the numbers, are, like I said, the money is the same, it's just the, the no, money is just moving around. So I find up saving $5,000 on locations, that $5,000 is just going to go towards something else that needs more, that's going to need more money. So it's kind of less like a little little puzzle is constantly shifting um, as, as we go through the, through, through the production.